Hi guys, welcome back. The arc elasticity of demand is one of the methods of calculating the price elasticity of demand. When the price elasticity of demand is to be calculated between two points on the demand curve, then we use your arc elasticity method. In the given figure, the two points are your point A and point B. And if we want to calculate the price elasticity between these points on the demand curve, then we use your arc elasticity method. Now the formula for calculating the elasticity by arc elasticity method is very similar to your percentage method or the proportionate method of calculating the elasticity. So the formula for your proportionate method was as follows. Percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price, which was written as the change in quantity divided by your original quantity divided by the change in price divided by the original price. Now, in arc elasticity method, instead of using the original quantity or the original price as base, we use the average price, the average quantity or the average price or the midpoint of the two quantities or the midpoint of the two price. So the formula for your arc elasticity goes as follows. Change in quantity divided by the average quantity, which is the original quantity plus change quantity divided by 2. Again, divided by your change in price divided by the average price, which is again your original price plus the changed price divided by 2. So why do we use this average instead of original? Let's find out with the help of an example. Let's say there is a commodity X whose original price was P1 and in that price the quantity demanded was Q1 which is 40. Now let's say the price decreased to P2 to 8 and the quantity demanded it increased to 60. Now let's try to find the elasticity between these points by using your proportionate or percentage method. So the uh, formula is your change in quantity which is 60 minus 40, 20 divided by your original quantity. So we are taking these as your original quantity right now. Yes, overall divided by the change in price which is 2, 10 minus 8 divided by your original price which is 10. So this will give you 2.5. So the coefficient of price elasticity is 2.5. Now let's say in the same example again the price increased back to 10. So the price it again increased back to 10 and the quantity it again decreased back to 40. So now let us again find the, the elasticity for the increased price. So now we have to keep these two quantities as your original, as your base because now we are calculating the elasticity for change from this point to this point, right? So let's find out the elasticity once again. So the change in quantity will remain the same, it is a 20 divided by the original quantity will now be 60 because we are taking these as your base, right? divided by the change in price will again be the same it is 2 but the original price will take as 8 so this will give you the elasticity 1.32 so you see previously we got the elasticity 2.5 right now we are getting 1.32 so for the same data we are getting two elasticities two coefficient of price elasticities because one is for the increase in price and one is for the decrease in price. But does it seem correct to you that for the same set of data, you cannot get two price elasticities, right? It will create you a lot of confusion. So in order to avoid that confusion, we use the average method in your arc elasticity of demand. So in your average method, whether there is increase in price or decrease in price, for the same set of data, you will get only one elasticity, only one coefficient of price elasticity. That's why this method is, it is more scientific and more convenient. Now let us, for the same data, now let us find the arc elasticity of demand by your, by your midpoint method. So let's, uh, let us first find out the midpoint of the quantity. Let's call it QA, the average quantity, 
that would be your 60 plus 40 divided by 2 it's 100 divided by 2 will give you 50 and your average price p average would be your 10 plus 8 divided by 2 which is 18 divided by 2 which gives you 9 now the coefficient of price elasticity of arc elasticity would be change in quantity 60 minus 40 divided by your average quantity divided by the change in price divided by the average price so this would give you the coefficient 1.81 so this is the arc elasticity of demand now let's talk about the point elasticity of demand now it is yet another method of calculating the price elasticity of demand when the price elasticity is to be calculated at any point on the demand curve, we use the point elasticity method. Now let's say we want to calculate the price elasticity at this point, let's call it S. So the formula for calculating your point elasticity is the lower segment divided by the upper segment. Now for point S, the lower segment would be your ST and the upper segment would be your s and small t right so the lower segment would be s capital t and the upper segment would be st now let's say that the whole demand curve it is 8 centimeters in length and the lower segment is 2 centimeter and the upper segment is 6 centimeter so your point elasticity at point s would be your 2 divided by 6 that is your 0. Point, sorry 0.33 now again let's say that you want to calculate the point elasticity at your midpoint r now at midpoint r your lower segment would be equal to your upper segment right rt divided by rt so since these both segments are equal you will get the point elasticity 1 so what can we understand from here is at midpoint the price elasticity would always be 1 and we as we move towards the lowest part lower from the midpoint your point elasticity it gets lesser than 1 because as we move lower the lower segment is lesser than your upper segment and as we move upwards the point elasticity would be greater than 1 because again the lower segment would be greater than your upper segment and at this uh, end point at capital T your point elasticity would be 0 because at this point there is no lower segment and at this point your small t the point elasticity would be infinity because then there is no upper segment the upper segment would be 0 and anything divided by 0 would give you infinity so now let's look at this figure you see the at midpoint the point elasticity is 1 and as we move lower the point elasticity becomes lesser than 1 at the lowest point your point elasticity is 0 as we're moving upwards the midpoint the point elasticity is greater than 1 and at the highest point the point elasticity is infinity so guys this was all about your arc elasticity and the point elasticity I hope you've understood them both and if you found the video useful then please subscribe to the channel for more content on different topics of economics.